Okay, so we're into the last step of our customer kiosk, and we're going to add a new customer. So I have my add new function, and I'm using the, I'm opening the files in the more traditional way here. I'm opening the file for the first time where I open the customer file dot text R plus, where I can read and write to it. I'm getting the customer list in here. I'm checking the length of it, and then I'm closing the file. I could have left it open here. I'm sort of in the habit of closing it as soon as I open it. That's why I like to use the with function, um, because we're going to have to open it again. And I want to read it each time that I do this so that I can see what number I'm on. So I'm going to get information from the customer, getting raw input, um, printing some bank clients and some thank yous. I create a new customer string, a new customer variable, where I add all of the options together here. Now for the customer number, um, my variable name for that is str underscore phone. It's the file index. So we count what line of the file it's on. So what I'm getting here, the customer link with the link. So we use the index plus the last four digits of the user's phone number. That way we never have any duplicates. Make sure with that last comma that you include a slash n, a new line. Otherwise, you won't get a new line for each customer, and it won't work right when you read it. So that's a critical thing. Uh, then I print the new customer just to verify that it's working. And then I do customer open in the append way, um, open to append. I write and I close it. So I add the customer file. And then it prints what their name is. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you. Uh, we have nothing here. I'm going to go into the customer. I'm going to hit play. And I will, when I test these, I'll put two customers into each one. I'm going to actually start with the new customer, then I'm going to go to the returning customer and find them to make sure everything is working. So I'm going to put in two customers for each. I'm going to put in uh, Ollie and Nessie, my dogs. So I'm going to start putting customer type two, new customer, Ollie, bear. He's at one, two, three, four, bear way, uh, Crystal Lake. Illinois, 60012, and we'll say he's at 2222. Okay, so you can see that that is added in here. I actually have a blank line because I had this open and was playing with it before. That's okay. We will put in a new one. So now I'm going to restart this. I want to make sure I'm not getting two blank lines. Um, and I'm going to put in new customer, and I'm going to put in Nessie, and I'm going to put in Winchester, and we'll put her at 222 Barking Hollow. And she will be in Woodstock, Illinois, 60013, and it put her on the new one. So I left the file open, not at the end, with a blank line in here. That's my fault because I've been playing with it and deleting things. Um, I will check yours. And then my next step will be to go back out and see if I can find them. So we've got Ollie Bear at 52222. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to play this again. I'm going to be a returning customer. And I'm going to put in Ollie's customer number. And we find Ollie Bear at Bearway with all of my typos. So that's the end of your final project, reading and writing. Make sure to test thoroughly before you hand it in. I should be able to um, choose any selection. It should still check for do error checking. If I put in a wrong number, if I put in six, it shouldn't allow it. If I put in a three, it should just say, welcome to the kiosk. You are logged in as guest.